Hello student, this video is the ICT enabled learning resource for class 8 NCRT science test book. The topic for the discussion is synthetic fibers and plastic. Everyone wearing colorful clothes and do you ever think about the material from which these are made? These cloth materials are made up of natural and artificial fibers. Is there any other use for these fibers? Yes. Of course, they are also used for making a large variety of household articles. Based on the source from which it is obtained, fibers can be classified as natural and artificial fibers. Natural fibers like cotton, wool, silk, etc. are obtained from the plants or animals, whereas the synthetic fibers are made by human beings. Example for synthetic fibers are rayon, nylon, polyester, etc. Now we will discuss the details of synthetic fibers. Are you familiar with the uniform pattern found in the necklace of beads? In this, the beads are joined with the help of a thread. Synthetic fibers also possess similar pattern. It is a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is known as a monomer and it is a chemical substance. Many monomers are combining to form a large single unit called a polymer. Scientists are always interested to make natural sources in the laboratory. They were successful in making silk artificially. This fiber was called rayon. Do you know about the synthetic procedure for making rayon? This fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp. Rayon is having properties similar to that of silk. Nowadays, many clothes are made up of rayon and it is cheap compared to the silk clothes. Similarly, rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mix with wool to make carpets. Now let us discuss the properties of another synthetic fiber named nylon. It was prepared from coal, water and air. It has very good strength and light weight in nature. Therefore, it is used for making parachutes and ropes for rope climbing. You feel interest to know that a nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire. Similarly, it is lustrous and easy to wash. So it is a common fiber for making clothes. Is there any other article which can be made from nylon? Yes, there are many articles such as socks, robes, sleeping bags, curtains, toothbrush, etc. are made from nylon. You are familiar with nice polyester dresses, isn't it? You must have seen that the fabric made from the synthetic fiber does not wrinkle easily. It remains crisp and easy to wash. An example for a popular polyester is sterile. Are you frequently using different PET bottles and jars? These are mainly used for storing many grocery items. PET is a very familiar form of polyester. Nowadays, we are using a large variety of articles made of polyester. Do you visit any textile shops with your parents? You might have noticed that the fabric seller may introduce different type of cloth material such as polycoat, poly wool, terricoat, etc. Basically, these are made by mixing two types of fibers. For example, polycoat is a mixture of polyester and cotton. Poly wool is a mixture of polyester and wool. Similarly, terricot is the mixture of terrilene and cotton. We are using sweaters and blankets in the winter season. Do you think these are made only from natural wool? The answer is no. Many of them are prepared in a particular type of synthetic fiber called acrylic. They appear to be resemble wool and are relatively cheap. You must have noticed that 
Synthetic fibers melt on heating and this is one of the disadvantage of the synthetic fiber. If the cloth catches fire, the fabric melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it. So it is advisable to use cotton clothes while working in a laboratory or kitchen. So far we are discussing about synthetic fibers. Now we will discuss about plastics. We are using many plastic material in our day to day life activities which are available in different sizes and shapes. As we discussed before, plastic is also a polymer. Polythene is an example of plastic. Do you think all plastic have a same type of arrangement of units? No. In some it is linear whereas in others it is cross linked. If you clearly observe the plastic material that have come across, some of them can bend easily while some others break when forced to bend. Did you observe plastics bottles get deformed when we add hot water? This type of plastics will bend easily when heating. These are known as thermoplastics. Is any other type of plastics known? Yes, some plastic which when molded ones cannot be softened by heating. Bakelite and melamin are examples of this category. Such plastics are called thermosetting plastics. Bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity whereas melamin resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastics. These thermosetting plastics are used for making different articles such as electrical switches, floor tiles and kitchenware. What do you think is so special about plastic that we use it so widely? We are using the plastic in the every mode of life, isn't it? Yes, for storing food items, water, milk, spices, etc. Now let us discuss the properties of plastics. Let us compare a plastic container and a metal container. You know that metal like iron gets rusted when exposed to moisture and air. But plastic do not react with water. They are not corroded easily. This property of plastics is useful for storing various kind of material including chemicals and medicines. I would like to draw your attention about the type of buckets were used in the past. You know that these material were made up of metals. Is that the same kind of material of bucket and mugs that you are using today? No. Now the materials are replaced by plastics. So what is the advantage of using a plastic container? They are very light, strong, durable and can be molded into different sizes and shapes. Most of the electric wires and equipment have plastic covering or you may also notice that handles of electric testers are made up of plastics. Do you know the reason for that? This is because plastic are the poor conductor of heat and electricity. In order to avoid the electric shock, it is advisable to use plastic handled electrical equipment. So far we discussed the properties and uses of plastics in our daily life. Because of the extensive use, plastic waste get accumulated in our home and workplace. What is the method of disposing the plastic waste? Is there any difficulty in disposing these weights? Yes, there is. Plastic takes several years to decompose. It is non-biodegradable. That means they are not easily decomposed by a natural process. A material which gets decomposed through natural process such as action by bacteria is called biodegradable. Similarly, you are aware that during burning, plastic release 
a lot of poisonous fumes into the atmosphere. This leads to severe air pollution. So, we can conclude that plastics and other synthetic materials create environmental pollution and not eco-friendly. Now, what is the remedy for this problem? There are many ways to approach this. First and foremost one is to minimize the use of plastic as far as possible. For instance, everyone should uh, prefer bag made up of cotton or jute for shopping. The other method is to collect the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste separately and dispose them. Most of the thermoplastics can be recycled. So, we can recycle some of the plastic waste. During the recycling process, certain coloring agents are added. This will help to distinguish the recycled plastic from the other. However, it is the duty of everyone to make our environment clean and safe. One should follow the 4R principle, reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Let us stop here presently. Thank you for watching.